Oh, hello. I'm just down in Camp Monte, been out making a bit of venison jerky and just chilling out. But I thought while I was here, I would give you a wee review and comparison with a new bit of equipment I've bought. It's the Special Forces shovel um, from Cold Steel. It was actually Alex from Easy Going Outdoors got me into these. He's got one and uh, he's got a cracking review on it on his channel. It's definitely worth a watch. Um, he knows what he's talking about with it um, and he totally sold me on it. What I want to compare it to is what I was using previously, which was the British military entrenching tool. Um, and I'll do a wee comparison on that in a little second. But I'll just talk about the product firstly. Um, Cold Steel is quite a good company. Um, I used to use one of their knives as one of my go-tos before I discovered the Mora Garberg, um, the Cold Steel Survival Edge, and it was good um, for what it does. It wouldn't be my go-to now so much. But the shovel I was sold on, so the cover has got a normal belt lip there. I noticed that with my Hidden Woodsman, it slots in there, no problem at all. And then that'll just sling and just sit there. It's got two wee screws there that can come out um, and it can come apart which I probably won't do, I'll just carry it as is because it's easier to set up. So let's have a look at it out of the sheath. As you can see there, the edges come out of the box razor sharp and obviously because it is sharp, you're going to be able to get it into the ground easier. So that's that and I'll show you the one I'm comparing it to, my old one. So this one does fold down. Problem is it's going to take up a lot more room in your pack. Whereas this one, you can sling it through stuff, which I like. So it comes with a wee sheath there and the thing about this that was a bit of a pain and that was jamming quite easy which was a bit annoying. This isn't as sharp, nowhere near as sharp. If you see the two of them together, this one just feels better in your hand and it's weight comparison. I'd say that the cold steel one is a lot lighter. The problem with this is in a long term scenario um, this is going to get damaged especially that mechanism there and sometimes I couldn't get it undone at all and um, I had to put a lot of WD-40 and a bail stall in there to get it going again but the thing with the cold steel one is that I can bring that out with me as an axe as well which I can't really do so much with that one however one of the good features with the British military shovel is that you can untwist this and tighten it up and you've got yourself a pick for digging into the ground. So I'll do a wee bit of digging just to show you the difference between them. Round one, fight. And um, we'll start off with the cold steel. Not the best of ground to dig in here. So yeah, cracking for digging there. Dug a decent sized hole there in no time at all. I like the way it's so sharp, it just cuts straight into the ground. No issues there whatsoever. Right, British military entrenching tilt. So there you have it, both good at digging and doing their job. I will say though, with the cold steel shovel, it just cuts through the roots a lot faster because it's so sharp. Um, no issues there, you can get down quite good with it that way as a pick. It just it feels so much more comfortable in the hand. You're gonna blister your hands with the entrenching tool a lot easier, I would say. I think with maintenance side, this will be a lot easier to maintain and keep sharp, whereas with the British military one, there's so many divots that muck can get stuck in and you have to like brush it out and it's got that coating as well, which isn't the best. And you see there, it doesn't stick in the ground. I have to do it a lot more compared to the cold steel, which just plunges straight in. But I was cutting through those roots, no problem at all. The entrenching rule was to a certain degree, but not as much. But however, it has got that pick facility, which is a sheet there, was quite effective. I'm have, gonna have to go with the cold steel shovel on this occasion. You 
win. Round two, fight. Hadouken! Let's give the British military one a go. Using the serrated edge. Steel. Right, so as you can see that's made a fair dent than that and that's with one hand so this is a lot easier to use with one hand and once that wears in the wood a bit more will get more grip but yeah that made short work of that. Nah you can't you can't use that the same with one hand you can't get as good a swing. Nah, that's not the same. Try it further on down. Nah, that's going to hurt yourself. There are those nuts and bolts when you're bashing away with that. Still workable, but just think the cold steel has a better feel to it by far. Fatality. You can see you can feller with the full speed shovel. That's um, a review done on both of them there, and I think I'm going to have to go with the the cold steel special forces shovel i mean the british military entrenching tool is really good as well but it's just down to your own personal choice what you want for bushcrafting i would say go for this um, and for tactical side i would maybe go for this but it'll just depend on your method of carrying your equipment you know if you want to put this in your day sack where it's not as visible and it's out of the way you know go for this absolutely but to make this smaller by unscrewing that that's going to be an epic every time um, but it's good to have both and I think this one looks a lot better as well um, it's more reminiscent of World War 1 and 2 design which I do like and it's a fantastic chopper it was just chopping away those uh, branches not a problem so it's entirely up to you it's just a wee bit of food for thought just to give and say don't buy cheap because if you buy cheap it's just going to shatter especially if you're relying on this in an emergency you're going to screw yourself over big time but I would rely on any of these two in a survival scenario for anyone starting bushcraft, I would definitely say to get either one of these two, the, the creme to the creme. So yeah, just a wee thing for you to think about. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was informative. And as always, uh, stay safe out there and get out there and enjoy the great outdoors. And I'll catch you in a bit.